Welcome back to the channel, guys. Kindly hit the like, kindly hit the subscribe button, kindly subscribe to the channel. It's Sunday morning, the 19th November, like 12.30 a.m. After the Colorado, Washington laws, I really wasn't really up to making any videos. I'm really pissed off. Shador got, got hurt. But it's been building up to this point, and I've been making videos about it. Most of most of the season, and them guys, the offensive line, they willfully allowed this to happen. They just went back to their old ways. Anyway, this is my boy Buffed Up TV. I don't really know him, but he he has some great perspectives about God Carter. So hit that like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Tough loss, bad loss. Colorado and uh, let's talk about it so and what was anticipated as a equal matchup Colorado faced off against Washington State only to be handed a resounding defeat with the final score of 56 to 14. Uh, the game revealed uh, critical shortcomings that left the Buffalo struggling to put together a cohesive performance. Let's start with the offensive line, which had shown improvement, but they turned around and regressed to their old ways. Lead. Yes. They only they only played well like one I think one day, one game and that was the last game. But I, those guys are sabotaging shit to them. They've been doing it all season. Coach Prime in one video I made was saying how he had a personal meeting with the offensive line. And then he was at one game, how he was coaching them and and on the sidelines and praising them. You shouldn't have to praise your offensive line just to protect the quarterback. You know, so he, he needs to get rid of that whole, that whole offensive line. Because all of them provocateurs, in my perspective, only two games they protect your door. And they didn't really protect him. He, I think those two games... He only got like two sacks in both games, but those are the only two games. Rest is he was getting sacked and hurried up or knocked down over thirty sometimes per game or forty sometimes per game. So anyway, I'm pissed off about that. Leaving star quarterback Shador Sanders vulnerable in the pocket. Shador, despite a Remarkable 45-yard touchdown pass to Travis Hunter faced discomfort that led to an injury which sidelined him for the second half. Defensively, the scheme continued to falter, leading to significant chunk plays for Washington State so issues with positioning, open receivers, a lack of effective tackling and wrapping guys up. This really, really, really hindered this team's performance. They just didn't show up. Bottom line, they didn't show up. Big gaping holes for runs on downs where we knew they were running the ball. That's what I'm saying. I I've, I believe they still have a bunch of saboteurs on the team. 
And Coach Lewis wasn't the only one on the team sabotaging this team. People smile in your face, but they're not really your friend. And these coaches pretending to be with Coach Prime, you know, I don't, I don't buy any of it at all. I don't buy it. Kindly hit that like. Kindly leave some comments. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Thanks. This loss by far uh, stands as one of the most disheartening ones to me. It's the most disheartening one because I really felt like we had a chance to win this game. But once the game started, that went out the window fast. Okay. So this eliminates uh, any hopes of a postseason bowl. So, uh, as the season takes this unfortunate turn, it's now time for Colorado to shift the focus to the off season. Yeah, we have one more game left. The, the uh, season finale in Utah, but it's time to regroup and strategize for the challenges that lie ahead next year in the Big 12. Hopefully, the lessons from this game will undoubtedly... The lessons is we need an offensive line. We, meaning the Colorado Buffaloes, need an offensive line. We don't need to get anything until they get an offensive line. That's a priority. Shanoa is not going to make it to the NFL the way he's getting hit consistently every game except for two games. And I repeat, during those two games, he got sacked like three times. So, we need an offensive line. And yes, I still say Coach Prime is the reason. He should protect his son. Come on, man. It's just son back there. You see him getting hit every game. It's got to be something that you should have done all season. It's, I'm pissed. I'm really pissed. We fuel the Buffalo's determination to improve and come back stronger in the season to come. I tell you what, Coach Prime has a lot of things to change. I'm sure he will. We're going to be keeping an eye on the postseason. It's time to bring in those trenches, man, and uh, let's get this thing right. Because if we yeah, we need to get it right. Coach Prime needs to get it right. There's got to be a way he can figure out who's with him and who's not with him. Because these motivational speakers, speeches that he's giving every game is falling on deaf ears. I mean, these guys, I mean, I don't I don't really see where they focus. At. I don't really see where they hungry or they really want it. I don't really see it. And it starts with that offensive line. That offensive line, I, I, none of them guys on the offensive line should be on that team next year. Not one of them. I don't trust not one of them. I have made videos and seen videos of these guys willfully protecting one one guy, three people, two or three people blocking one guy when one or two guys will have a straight path to, sh to sack Shador Sanders. I'm really pissed. I have not been in the mood to make a video or do nothing. Because I'm really pissed that Shador Sanders is hurt. I'm done breaking bread.